It's a very big task. I will be discussing the result of the DNA test. People told me when, when this particular event was made public, what's the point of digging into President Osmania's supposed father when they say that everybody already knows who his father was. But his paternity has always been a question, even though there are some who would say that it has already been proven based on circumstantial evidences who his father was. Many historians and history buffs would still say that there are still some lingering questions about who his true father was. But it's interesting when you Google with the terms Serio Osmeña father or who is the father of President Osmeña or any combination thereof, this is what you'll get. Pedro Lee Singson Gotiauco. Now, this is just the first part of the Google results. But if you scroll down and if you search yourself in Google or any other search engines, you will get, for every 10 results, you will get 9 that would say that his father was Don Pedro Lee Gotiauco. Uh, another interesting thing, if for the Apple users, you can ask Siri. I try doing that just for a little fun. I ask Siri. Pedro Singson Gotiauco is Sergio Osmeña's father. Even Siri is confident to say Pedro Singson Gutiauco is Sergio Ospeña's father. Siri doesn't even give you other options. Unlike Google with a lot of search results, Siri is confident it's only one person and it's Pedro Singson Gutiauco. So we will find out today if it was indeed Pedro Singson Gutiauco. And lastly, even the reliable and very popular online family tree it's a worldwide, it's a connection of all family treats in the world if you're not familiar with Jenny.com. And this is the master list, which means this is curated, this is kept uh, clean by uh, genealogists and online enthusiasts of genealogy. You can read that his immediate family, he is cons he is listed as the son of Pedro Singson Gotiauco and Juana Suicos. So technically, Wikipedia, Jenny.com, and other reliable and reputable online sources would say and tell us that his father was Pedro Gotiauco. So that begs the question, so if we already know his father, what's the point? The point is, there is no no definitive proof. All of these are claims. All of these are based on circumstantial evidences and most importantly from family lore. None of them of course will stand in court. So that's why as Miss Marilu said earlier for a definitive answer to the question who Sergio Osmeña's father was, they commissioned a DNA test which is the only way for us to prove the paternity of President Osmeña. So I will give a brief historical context. It's difficult to understand the result if we don't look at the two men and the stories behind them who were said to be the father of President Osmeña, one of them. As we all know, President Osmeña was born on September 9, 1878 in Cebu to Juana Osmeña. And at the time of his birth, the Osmeña family was considered as one of the most prominent families in Cebu. Not just the city, but in the entire province of Cebu. Many of the men held positions in Parian and many of the family members owned vast land holdings all over over the province of Cebu, they were businessmen, they were merchants, and they were married to most of the prominent families, also the elite of Parian and the rest of the province. As Ms. Malu also mentioned, he was an illegitimate child, born outside of wedlock. So he was a padre no conocido, father was unknown. And again, as we all know, he became one of our presidents, uh, succeeding President Manuel El Quezon, and he later became known as Cebu's grand old man. So that's a brief background of President Ospeña. Of course, we know a lot of things about him already. His birth, 
his conception, his birth was always shrouded in mystery. There are a lot of stories about how Juana Osmeña supposedly really got pregnant, but that's for another another time for us to discuss. There was also a story about how the mother of Juana Osmeña supposedly tried to abort the child because of the scandal that she caused by bearing a child outside of wedlock. So there are a lot of these rumors family tales and even tales from other families not just those menias that the story became even more muddled and many people you know did not know what to believe but there are also many historians who say that many of these stories were probably created by the political rivals of Sergio Osmeña because he was really very popular and prominent Cebuano politician and a lot of Cebuano politicians including Vicente Soto hated him and all of these stories were probably also made up because they wanted to destroy his political career. So it is interesting that among our 17 presidents only Sergio Osmeña was illegitimate. So today we will legitimize Sergio Osmeña. So our 17 presidents from Emilio Aguinaldo up to President Marcos Jr. will now have official known fathers. Throughout his life, it is very interesting that Sergio Osmeño was very secretive about his parents. In fact, I'll, I'll cite two examples that in 1931, there was a collection of biographies of prominent Filipinos. His father or mother, we, everyone knew his mother's name, but unfortunately, even his mother's name was not mentioned in that particular biographical sketch. Perhaps it was his request, don't mention anything about my parents. Another one, in 1944, a U.S. magazine, Collier's Magazine, did an article on Sergio Osmeña. He was already the sec he was the president of the Commonwealth at that time. But according to the article, even today in 1944, he refuses to discuss his father or mother or his early home life. So even these two examples tell us that Osmeña was very reluctant to discuss his parents. So perhaps, of course, he knew probably the circumstance or he knew already the identity at that time. But definitely throughout his life, he was very mysterious about his father. And even his mother was in the background. Most historians say that it is unfortunate that Juana Osmeña, whose son was one of the most powerful men in the Philippines during his time, was unable to take pride publicly that her son was Sergio Osmeña. So again, you can see from the pattern that Sergio Osmeña probably did not want any further controversy so that's why he kept silent about his father's identity despite that despite the mystery two names came out as the possible fathers of president osman